Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna take off these mirror caps because maybe you wanna paint them, maybe you wanna wrap them, maybe you've ordered a set, the color of your vehicle, and you wanna replace them. Anyway, I'll show you how to do the disassembly, and then I think I'm gonna wrap mine white just to keep this theme going on that I have with the black and the white. So let's go. Now, if you've seen some of the previous videos, you knew that I wrapped these once already. The difference being is before I had this shimmery white that's on my wife's Escalade, if you wanna look behind you there. And this paint is not shimmery. It doesn't have a metallic flake in it. So I've just got a basic white here, like I did my uh, fog light bezels. But we're gonna do this in a, in a white. It's not perfect, uh, but vinyl over time can discolor. And because the surfaces aren't touching, I don't think you'll even notice. Uh, but first, let's get this off and I'll show you some close ups on how to do that. Okay, get yourself a small flathead screwdriver. Manually tilt the mirror so you can reach these little tabs. There's these little black tabs here. You just want to gently get under them and lift and it'll separate. So, just like that. Now, I'm keeping a little pressure here and I'm going to the next one. can't see very well because I'm trying to record it there we go and if you get the first three you should be able to get it off pretty easy so there's three now if I just push down a little bit and pull out it'll separate because there's no pressure there you go so all the clips are intact nothing's broken there's six of them mine has the lane assist warning Mine also has the heater, so they stay defrosted. Um, so I'm not gonna unhook any of this wiring, but I'm just gonna rest it in the mirror cavity and with the windows down on the ledge, and then that way it's not gonna fall. Now we need to get a Torx screwdriver to undo a couple Torx screws. So let's grab that next. I'm just gonna tape these up so they're out of the way. that. Now this is a T15. Back out these screws here. There we go. I'm going to put them in the door for safekeeping. Now we have to pinch these spots here. There's three of them. And then that'll release this surround and then we should be able to get to the clips holding that mirror cap on. Okay, I think the easiest way is I'm just gonna use that flathead in the beginning. And there's two hooks that grab on the inside of a, a plastic opening. So I'm just gonna keep pressure on this surround, keep pulling on it as I work these inward to release. So there, I've got enough I can grab that. Now if I release down here at the bottom, try and pinch these ones a bit, I should be able to start separating this more. There we go. And that is separated. Now that this is loose, you can actually pull the front off like this, undo this clip. We'll remember that the red was facing up and there's this little tab that sticks out that needs to face towards us. I don't think you can reverse it, not very easily, so we know this is the right way to put it on. There we go, now we should be able to undo all of these tabs, gently pry them off and get this cap off. 
Okay, we're gonna start with this corner here. Let's pinch those guys a little bit. Just to wiggle that out. Okay, that's part of it. It looks like we need to get the LED out of the way. So I'm just bending this small tab back here, which allows me to release this end. Okay, there's a tab way down here. Really hard to see. I don't think my needle nose pliers can get in there properly. So I'm just gonna have to use a screwdriver, apply some pressure, and keep trying to work it out. So there's a little sandwich area here. There's a tab in here. So you need to undo one. And then you need to undo the other. There we go. Ta-da. Removed. Zero damage. Oh, we got some old vinyl there where it was tucked in from the previous vinyl. Hey, you know the drill, time to clean these properly. 70% isopropyl alcohol. And mine still have PPF on them, which I'm gonna keep there. And we'll just wrap right over top. You wanna get these good and clean, as well as you wanna get these inside edges because our vinyl is gonna curve over the edge this time. Whereas when I wrapped them on the vehicle, I wasn't able to curl the vinyl under very well because they were still attached. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this one piece that I already have that should fit. As you can see, lots there. It is gonna have to curve around the edge, but we can also, you know, work it at an angle. So I'm not too worried. So I'm just gonna cut this right down the middle. Okay, we got our heat gun here. It is handy if you're doing this by yourself to have one that will stand on its back like that, or maybe you have a holder that can hold the heat gun so you can have your hands free. In this case, I'll have the film on here and I can just move it over top of the heat when I need it to do some stretching. So, enjoy the upcoming footage. Yeah, I was able to stretch that without any heat. It is really hot out today. It's about 92, 93 degrees Fahrenheit or 34, 35 Celsius. But uh, yeah, I was able to pull that across pretty well. I'm still going to give it a little extra stretch on the ends and then flatten underneath because once we trim this, we want that little bit of material to tuck and compress against the rest of the mirror so it doesn't back off. So let's uh, do some heating and a little more stretching. Okay, now we're just gonna cut this back. So on these flat spots, like I said, we're just gonna end up cutting right in this area here and then peel off all the extra film. This part here tucks underneath, there's a bit of a lip. So instead of working the vinyl in there, I'm actually just gonna cut at the top of it, heat it up again and then push that down. And that should give me enough extra material all the way along there that once it's compressed with the mirror housing, it will be tucked in and give it strength. So let's do some trimming. Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna post heat this. We just wanna make sure that the adhesive is activated and everywhere is laid down nice and tight. We want all of our edges that are gonna be sandwiched in with the mirror housing to be perfect, no ability to pull back. And uh, yeah, so let's get to post heating and make sure these last a long time. Would you look at that? Even with the PPF, you can see that tiny little line. No big deal. I think that's gonna look pretty darn good. Okay, well we got a second one perhaps. Let's do that. So when you're putting it back together, you'll see these two tabs here. They need to fit in that slot right there. So you're gonna have to put it on this way and then collapse it again. And then that screw that goes on this side pinches the front piece against here to this tab in the back. So it's very important that these go in first. You'll have a struggle if you're just trying to clip it on. You've gotta work it in like that. All right, we got them put on, what do you think? I think they turned out really, really good for maybe $20 in material, which I was able to do these mirror caps. On a previous video, I did these fog lights around. Now it's funny, on camera, they look a lot brighter, but in person, uh, they match pretty well. It actually matches the steel bumper a little better than the plastic sides, but the material over a while, because it's vinyl, it will discolor a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. That glance, those mirrors look like they match pretty good. Now, I keep getting a lot of questions about my wheels. These are the factory Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac 18 inch rims, but I applied Hyperdip. So, if you do it properly, it works pretty good. I just wanted to get rid of those stock rims, at least the, the color scheme that it had going on, because it didn't match anything else. So I bought uh, four cans of Hyperdip, applied it. You can check out that video, link above. But uh, that's what it looks like. Now, if you're wondering how Plasti-Dip lasts, we can look at these wheels in here. My wife's truck is filthy, okay? So it's, it's as dirty as it gets. And we did Hyperdip on the front grill. And it's got bugs on it and everything. But look, it, it holds up. It's dirty, but it holds up. So for all the naysayers out there, if you do it properly, it will work out for you. Anyway, if you like today's video and you like projects like this, please consider subscribing, hit that like button. We'll talk to you next time.